In 2012, Sinai Studios released a game based on the tabletop Rackham miniature world. That game was Confrontation. It was hailed as mostly mediocre, chiming in with scores around the middle of the spectrum. It was noted for having cramped corridors, shoddy AI, generic characters, laughable voice acting, and an assortment of other shortcomings. But it did have intelligent, if not mostly easy, tactical combat. I reviewed it myself and gave it a 6 out of 10. Well, Cyanide is at it again. The studio is re-entering the Rackham universe. They've made several games in the meantime, and for the most part, Cyanide has learned a thing or two. From what I've been able to get my hands on, Arkash Legacy is a better game than its predecessor. How much better? Well, let's take a look. One of the most detrimental issues of confrontation from a presentation standpoint was a lack of cohesive storytelling. It seemed to rattle off names in places like you were deeply familiar with the mythos, all the while almost never displaying any association by verbalization. Arklash Legacy does a much better job at laying out the story in a cohesive and understandable manner. The gist is this, you're in control of a band of wheel swords, which is pretty much a guild of cell swords. They soon discover that events are underfoot which affects the entirety of the guild, and all the wheel swords have a bounty out on their heads. They're fighting tooth and undead nail to reach some rendezvous point to figure out what's going on. During this journey it's easy to notice the voice acting is much better and the character dialogue creates a sense of history and camaraderie among the wheel swords. Another of Confrontation's issues tied into the gameplay as well as the presentation. That problem was a repetitive and boring level design made worse by narrow corridors that created pathing problems. Arklash Legacy seems to have solved this setback. In the first chapter alone there were varied environments, from a forest and a cave illuminated by crystals to a mountainside teeming with undead. The routes that made up these maps had a wide berth so that characters wouldn't constantly get snagged on the geometry. And for the most part, the surroundings looked good enough, while also encouraging exploration with treasure chests. Because, yes, Arklash Legacy has added a color code loot system. None of the items are cosmetic to change the character's appearances, but it still is an improvement over the boring weapon obelisks from Confrontation. And a new loot system isn't where the improved character upgrades ends. Thankfully, the skill tree is much more satisfying and interesting. Each character has four different skills or abilities, and when their level increases, you can distribute a point to advance one of those skills. These skill increases do more than just add numbers to the effect, however. They might add a new feature, altering how the skill operates entirely, or possibly adding a silence effect or a new trait altogether. The skill trees definitely offer up an opportunity to keep combat much more fresh for much longer. And for the most part, combat and gameplay is unchanged. The controller scheme still handles similarly to a real-time strategy, and battle situations are still a time-stopping tactical ordeal. You have four characters active at any given time, each with four different skills at their disposal. The difference being that in Arkash Legacy, the combat is very difficult, and it actually makes use of directional aiming. For instance, directional aiming means that some spells and abilities have a path. If you fire a healing spell at an ally and then an enemy walks in front of the spell, the enemy will receive the heal instead. The same can be said for damaging spells. This makes positioning and micromanagement vital to victory. Really, the combat was the best thing Confrontation had going for it, and Arkash Legacy seems to expand on that, for the better. So how much has Arkash Legacy improved over Confrontation? Well, it's definitely a superior game, but as it stands, it's hard to say just how good it is throughout. The preview version I received was just the first chapter. I was just starting to enjoy the characters as they were finally allowing themselves to become likable through banter and dialogue. There's also the welcome additions to customize those characters through gear and skills. What I can say is that it would seem Cyanide was listening to the constructive criticism of Confrontation. Most of the issues I had with the game have been addressed, and as it is right now, Arkash Legacy is promising, but we'll have to see what the final product brings. Give you a hand with these skellies, alright? Who are you calling pup? Your runt? 